You can track your academic progress within eServices. Begin by clicking on Grades and Transcripts. Next, select Interactive Degree Audit Report. The degree you're pursuing should appear in this area. Access the report by clicking on the degree. This report, commonly referred to as a DARS report, functions as an educational roadmap. It's a complete list of program requirements specific to whatever degree or major you're pursuing. Whether you are planning on transferring with an Associate of Arts degree or completing a career program, your DARS report gauges where you're at. It shows how much coursework you've completed and how much you have left. In addition to this, it shows the various classes you can choose from to fulfill the remaining program requirements. It's very helpful when it comes to registering for classes. Transfer courses from other institutions will show up on the DARS report once your official transcript has been received and evaluated and you have been accepted to M-State. Transcript evaluation usually takes two to three weeks after all official transcripts have been received. At the top of the screen, you'll see a series of graphs that chart your progress and performance. Keep in mind that charts and graphs may vary depending on your degree or institution. The pie graph on the left represents the minimum total number of credits required for your degree. This corresponds to the total credit requirement in the audit below. Pass your cursor over the pie graph to see the number of credits represented by each area. While there are none in this example, the dark green section indicates the total number of credits earned. The light green section indicates the number of credits currently in progress, including those currently registered for. Six credits in this example. The pink section indicates the number of credits needed to complete the minimum total credits required. The blue in the legend will indicate planned courses. The blue bar graph to the right indicates the combined GPA for all courses used in the total credit requirement. Because this individual is just starting college, a GPA is not yet available. The horizontal bar graph includes key requirements for your selected degree. The colors on this graph represent the same things as those on the pie chart. In order to read your DARS report, you'll need to refer to the legend which explains what each of the symbols and abbreviations mean. The three most important symbols are green checks, which mean requirement complete, red X's, which mean requirement not complete, and IP, which means requirement in progress. Beneath the legend, you may find a list of test scores, as well as transfer details and graduation information. Scrolling down, you'll find a list of various requirements or goal areas that you will need to fulfill in order to earn your degree. Depending on how far along you are, you'll either see a green check, red X, or IP. Click on any one of the goal areas to display the corresponding courses. Goal areas with a red X will expand to display all the classes that can be used to meet that requirement. You should work with your advisor to make sure you are meeting all of the requirements in order to graduate by your desired graduation date. You will know that you are ready to apply for graduation when the statement, at least one requirement has not been met, changes to, all requirements have been met or are in progress. While every effort has been made to assure the accuracy of the DARS report, it is up to you to verify your DARS report with your advisor. If after reviewing your DARS report, you believe that it does not include all the college level courses you have taken, you will first want to make sure that M-State has an official copy of your most recent college transcript. In addition, if you apply to M-State during the middle of an academic semester, your transcript may not include that semester's grades. You will have to request another copy of your transcript to be sent to M-State. Final responsibility for meeting graduation requirements resides with each student. That's why it's very important that you are working closely with your advisor to make sure you're on track. A final note about graduation is that application for graduation is an essential step. As you are nearing the completion of your degree, please pay close attention to graduation application deadlines. 
Your DARS report should display one of the following when you apply for graduation. All requirements completed and program courses used. Or, all requirements have been met.